Last episode was what I think is one of the more memorable episodes of 100 Baby Challenge. We now have Grim in our household and he is valiantly taking out the trash. Um, so finally it's not snowing as well, which is nice. I wonder if Grim will go and pay our bills for us. Do you not want your children to move out? She's just worried that we're gonna get triplets from Grim and we're gonna have three demonic babies. Let's just go ahead and get these two doing the dirty. We could just go ahead and get pregnant with the Grim Reaper right now, which means we could move him out of our house sooner because he's technically not supposed to be here. So it's technically against the uh, rules. But apparently Natasha loves Love Day, so let's give him a... Oh my God, he would love a tombstone for Love Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how sweet. Should we give him a rose as well? Oh god, I hope he likes it. It's kind of a vibe of a present. Wait, he didn't like it? But you're the king of death! Oh! Oh no! It was an unappreciated gift! Grim, I thought you would like receiving a, uh, a tombstone. <laughs> I guess he probably has a lot. He's like, God, I've already got hundreds of these at home. Let's purchase a rose for him instead, perhaps. Can we get them from in here? Yes, okay, one rose. God, they're quite expensive, eh? Wow, he's a very clean sim, isn't he? All he wants to do is clean up and stuff. Oh, hey, Natasha, it's me, Deborah. Do you want to go out on a date? Yes, Deborah. We would love to, oh, fuck you, Grim. Get in line after Deborah. Just saying. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh no. Are you guys okay? Become partners in crime. Oh, hells yes. Oh, this is, oh, this is good. This is very good. Oh, I can't wait to get married to this lady. You know what we should probably do? We should give her a love day gift. Uh, good love day gift. Ah, there we go. She'll like that. She's feeling very upset about her unappreciated gift. Aww. Aww, so cute. Ugh. Wait, hello? Ugh. Oh my God, she didn't like it. That might've been because the last time we saw her, we were in the middle of trying to kill a couple men via the woohoo. Should we order drink for both of us? Wait, is she coming with us? Why does it feel like she kind of just brought us here to confront us? I want Natasha to have a good love day. She deserves it. She's the love queen. Why did we sit over here with these girls? I want to sit just us two. Let's get comfy on the couch here. We need her to be able to trust us, okay? Uh, ask about favorite author. Deborah. thanks Natasha. Yeah, no worries, my lady. We'll compliment her outfit, even though we dressed her. <laughs> I want to change that sweater. Wait, Natasha's sweater? You know what we could do? We could give Natasha a bit of a makeover. She hasn't had one in a hot minute. Oh, yes, get it, girl. A cute Valentine's. Oh, honey. Oh, my God. Why is she precious? Well, we gel so well with Deborah. Like, she was definitely upset about the whole, uh, you know, murderousness that we had going for us but like she just loves us so much she low-key killed her husband yeah like deborah definitely cannot judge us all right everyone is home from school so let's go back home for a bit of a birthday party Grim doesn't seem to be having a good day. I don't know if you've noticed, but he's kind of just like, I must clean everything always. Oh God, Desert's like, where the hell is my birthday cake, okay? I am becoming an adult today. All right, let's get Desert to come and blow out these candles. Natasha's finally managed the cake. <laughs> no, Casey, we don't want to go over to your house. We're having a birthday over here. Wow, no one is going to celebrate with us? Unbelievable. Oh my god, Desert's gonna be a geek as well. Oh, this honey. All right. Oh, Denny's singing. That is so cute. All right, now let's get Denny to blow them out. All right, and Denny is going to be a loner. Oh, I thought she was gonna be like a social bunny. It's time for these guys to move out i guess oh i feel so sad about that <laughs> say goodbye to the giant tv denny i wanted to move them into glimmerbrook i know we were gonna move them into paul's house because we killed him last time 
but I thought it would be better for them to move in with Eliana and Tanvi and they could be like a little witchy household together. Okay, so the household is looking a little bit smaller, but uh, not for long because uh, we, okay, we need to sort out everyone's needs really quickly. How about everyone goes and gets a serving of this? We're just gonna need to, okay, Grim has a problem. Like, are you OCD? Are you okay? Let's get romantic with this man. Oh, she's feeling confident, so we can give him a bold pickup line. Kind of weird to be doing this with the kids around, but you know what? That's fine. Recite love poetry. Oh, he loves it. All right, let's flirt with him again and then take him down to our bedroom. She is having the best love day of her entire life. <laughs> oh, we can serenade as well. Okay, okay. Emily, Emily, listen here, girly. I'm gonna need to you to use the kids' bathroom. Okay, but you know what? I'm not gonna be responsible for traumatizing things that you see. We first kiss yet? This is taking forever. Grim likes to take things slow, you know? <laughs> He's looking for a relationship, not a one night fling. Grim said, I'm not like other girls, I'm different. I wonder what his pajamas are. Wait, oh my gosh, are we gonna see him in pajamas? That's so weird. Grim playing hard to get, actually though. Wait, is he trying to take a bath right now? Grim is literally just a butler. Like he just exists to clean up our house. Wait, love day was awful. Fiona, you're a child, okay? Oh, he's sad. Wait, cause he had a bad holiday, but we did so much flirting. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I guess we'll go and try again for a bit more romancing. Wow, we started off so normal and now we're really out here making demon babies. <laughs> so Grim's gonna be my daddy? Yeah, <laughs> he, he sure is. Joke about old times. Remember that time you killed Derek? Yeah, I really appreciate that. Hmm, I mean, the romance is going up, but it's not giving us first kiss available or anything. And I feel like we should normally get that by now, you know? Traits. Dot remove reaper. Did that do anything? Too bad, buddy. Oh! Oh! We did it! He has a normal voice now! Oh! Oh, he has a normal voice! This is this is not okay! Death's name is now Daniel. <laughs> Can we have our first kiss now, please? Oh yeah, we need a screenshot of this. <laughs> Why does she look like that? First kiss of death. Wow, isn't that magical? Oh, Try for a baby with Grim. Is he gonna walk with the sassy walk now? Please. Please, the sassy walk. Oh, he just has a- <gasps> He has the sassy walk! Oh, I love to see it. Oh, bitch, make a scene. Oh my god! Oh my god, his pajamas were weird! <laughs> oh my god, can I see his face? Wait. <gasps> you can see his teeth! <sighs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, let's go and take a pregnancy test. I gotta move this man's out of my house. <laughs> yeah? You feeling you feeling like baby time? Hey, she's eating for two. Well, it's felt like a hot minute since this has been a thing, but the lady is pregnant again. Yeah, what do you think? Oh! <gasps> oh, he did not want that child. Natasha has learned the following traits about Grimm, that he hates children. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about that. Um, okay, well, it was, you know, it was great getting to know you, Grimm, but I think I've been traumatized by this whole thing, so we're gonna have to move you out of our household. Oh, you know what we could do, though? We could move him into Glimmerbrook with these two. That seems like a match made in heaven. Let's supercell. Grim is calling us. Hey Natasha, it's me, Grim. Do you want to go out on a date with me? Well, you couldn't stay away for even five minutes, Grim. You know what, Natasha? I think it's time that you took a nice cold shower. Yay, we've got a little laptop for her now. I feel like we should probably buy another one for the teenagers at some point because that will really help with their whole life, really. Oh wow, she's so happy when she's pregnant. What are you off to go and do? Wait, you're gonna go and meet Arnie? Hello? 
You're gonna go and meet a baby daddy without me even saying anything? All right, call out Parker, Natasha. Look at this little park. Oh my God, we live in a nice neighborhood now. You're looking kind of smug right now, but let's share the big news with him. Why is everyone always drunk? Can we do the woohoo with him? Cause that would be great. Oh, we have no romance with him. I guess we haven't seen him in quite a long time. Uh, wait, we can already have a first kiss? All right, well, sure. I wasn't expecting this to happen, but... Wait, oh my God, he was into it. Oh my God, you a bad boy. <laughs> okay, we can kiss his neck now as well. Wow, this is kind of nasty. Wow, that did not take lot. Oh! Oh, there he goes. And now he's very embarrassed. So you wanted a kiss on the lips, but the neck is off, off limits. Now that Natasha is pregnant, we got some time to kill. And I thought it would be kind of cool for Emily and Liz- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, go out clubbing with Jarvis and Beckham, was that his name? Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, Bella Goth is a elder. Why is she drunk? Wow, this is a vibe. Do we still have romance with her? Ooh, we do. Emily just got a special neighborly gift from Bella. One pizza. Okay, great, look at that, wow. Let's call to meal. Everyone can have a piece of pizza with Bella. It would have been nice if she turned up sober, but you know what? Whatever you're into on a Wednesday afternoon, Bella, you do you. Oh, look, and she's now doing some cooking for us. Maybe we should find someone. Oh, it would be nice to move her in with us. Maybe we should move her in with Deborah. You know, they can have a bit of a friendship together. She looks like she might need a bit of a companion. I think probably this lady needs a bit of fun in her life, so let's take her out clubbing. I know she's not an adult, but oh well. Let's take Emily, Jarvis, and Beckham. So uh, I kind of want Emily to get with Jarvis, but you guys kind of hate Jarvis, which is like kind of fair enough. Um, so like, I kind of just want to fuck him over. What? <laughs> but I would like to vent to Beckham. That, that would be nice. And I want to get everyone juiced. At first I thought that like maybe Jarvis would be a bad influence on these girls, but now I'm starting to think that maybe the girls are a bad influence on Jarvis. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, good to see Emily and Beckham are getting on. Where's she gone? She's gone up to read a book. <laughs> And uh, now she's going to wind down with classical as well. Jarvis kind of looks like a fuck boy, but more of like a, a, a what's the, more of a alternative fuck boy. Like a soft boy? Wait, this, Jarvis is a soft boy? Wow, everyone's having a bit of a dance now. It's all very constrained dancing until it isn't, you know? I want these guys to get all like, close and cuddly how can we make them oh they're gonna go and talk together oh jarvis needs to wee himself it would be pretty funny if Jar jarvis weed himself in front of everyone else oh where did he just go he just went into this oh and emily has just fallen asleep on a park bench all right well i guess we'll take these guys home what the hell wait all of the girlies hanging out eating their pizza together oh my god look how massive the pizza is compared to her hand oh we all finished the pizza wait this was a great gift i gave bella shit for bringing over pizza but like that was just perfect that was ideal oh damn it ginger why why would you tell her to get out honest this is not okay this is i am disgruntled with your behavior right now it's almost fiona's birthday oh my god we're gonna have a teenage fiona maybe we'll need to do a little bit of a a little bit of a yak <laughs> and then we can send her out to uh look for some new furniture for our house i thought we could do some dumpster diving um uh, she's a fast cleaner now which is so nice oh my god she didn't even need to touch it to make it clean okay uh great now can i now throw this out i can great Okay, she wants to go over here. Oh, we can sell things, yay. We'll super sell everything in our garden and, oh, whoa, oh my God, a thousand dollars for all these plants. All right, we'll tend to this garden and we'll tend to the garden over here as well. We should probably handle that before we like go out for the day. Should we take Deborah maybe? Deborah could be a good person to come with us. 
So we're gonna go to Evergreen Harbor and do some dumpster diving. Maybe let's take Bella as well. Okay, so I think probably first things first, we need to ask to just be friends with Bella, you know, just so we can flirt in front of her with uh, our one true love, Deborah. How do you feel? Oh, she's still drunk. Ew, Bella, you have a drinking problem, my oh. love. Oh, she didn't mind. Yeah. What is this? Recycle. Oh, okay. Guess we can recycle these and these, I suppose. What does this do for us? Is this good? Should we recycle the tombstone? Oh no, don't yak into the recycling machine. Oh god, don't stick your hand in there. Yikes, dog. Oh god, this seems like a lethal machine. I wouldn't let a pregnant person use that. Oh, look at that! That is so cool! Hey, let's go. Alrighty, let's dive for some deals. I want to get some cool furniture for our new house. Oh no, the baby bump. Oh no, the baby bump. That's not it. Can we dive for some more? And then maybe, can we romance Deborah a little bit? Oh. <laughs> you like it when I dive in the trash, Deborah? There's too much garbage in the dumpster for a romantic encounter. Don't worry, I'll clear it out. Get out of the way, Lucas, you eejit. Hey, everyone's now a B student. Holy shit. Well, never mind. Okay, now we've distracted him. Dive for thrills! Yes! Oh, we can woohoo in the dumpster with Deborah! Deborah, Deborah, Deborah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bella. Bella. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Bella's like, okay, okay, I see how it is. A bit stinky. Wow, she is not stoked about that actually. Okay, yep, fair enough. That's that's fair enough. Oh no! Oh, what? Why are you? Why are you sad, bitch? Please. Wait, we're very embarrassed. Caught with another from cheating. Um, excuse me. We aren't cheating. Wow! Whoa! 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 I am shocked right now. Oh, now we both stinky. Oh, wow. What a, what a couple, eh? What a couple. Nap and dumpster? Die for deals. Yeah, let's see if we can find a couple more things. Then maybe we should go to like the spa or something with Deborah. Did we find anything? Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, we only found $8. Oh, lame. Okay. Oh, it's lovely weather. This is so nice. All right, let's uh, let's quickly hop in the shower before we engage in any activities. Woohoo with Deborah, we can have a wo shower woohoo! Amazing! Oh, look at this! <laughs> dive for deals more like dive for meals, am I right, ladies? <laughs> All right, I think uh, this lady needs to go to the toilet, so let's take a quick shower <laughs> while she goes off and does her business. Oh, this is so non-chaotic compared to the normal hundred baby vibes. Oh, lovely! There is a whole place we can order food. Amazing! Yeah, we need to we need to look after our Sims. Before she has triplets, we need to give her some time to herself because it's really, oh my God, these look disgusting. She looks so good in the jumpsuit though. Like, look at this, amazing. Yeah, you know what? Let's invite Deborah and Bella back to our house. All right, it's a little bit of a late dinner. Maybe let's get you in something a little bit more appropriate. Um, for some reason, <laughs> Natasha would rather sleep than cook a meal for everyone. Come on. Okay, she's finally called everyone to the damn meal. <laughs> Aw, should we get everyone to watch a movie together? It is midnight, but you know what? It'd be like that sometimes, okay? Wait, did someone just wet themselves? Oh no, Bella just wet herself. Oh my, oh no, oh no, oh. <laughs> Third trimester in three hours, god damn. Everyone is looking good here and they're all ready for their day of school. So, oh no, she's not feeling well. Oh well. Bella can hang out in this household now. Let's move these guys 
in with into this household so we can have all of the the children here and the adults and the little little michelle in this household i think also um i know i said i was gonna do this last time i thought we could also give natasha a bit of an update because natasha has been wearing this outfit for quite some time now uh, i don't want to change it too much but maybe we could go for like some different colors maybe oh my god we could give her the gucci shoes I mean, it would make sense to give her some expensive accessories, you know, having scammed a whole bunch of old men out of their savings and all that. <laughs> Natasha. I kind of want to give her some, like, wrinkles. Actually, yeah, those are pretty because it goes with her hair and everything. I like this. This is a bit more sort of growing up, Natasha. I want her to look a little more mature. Uh, let's change the hair a little bit. We could say she's growing it out a little bit. You know, she's had short hair for a very long time. That is so good. That is actually the Deborah hair though. Like they've just like switched places. That's the Megan hair. Oh, this is the one that she had in my Avengers series. There we go. Okay, we're gonna give her this hair. Oh my God, why is she so beautiful? Look how mature she looks. Oh my God, she looks so mature, what on earth? We've got an updated Natasha. I'm very happy with that. Woo! Do you have any requests for next time? Birth time? We're definitely gonna be giving birth next time. I don't know, kill more men? I mean, listen. I like how your requests are like, ah, can we rob a bank? Can we do some more murdering? I appreciate that. You guys really like me when I kill men. I have other things to offer as well. Cute family gameplay. <laughs> kill for the money. I love it, I love it. Steal some more money. We can definitely steal some more money. Oh, 100%. We can steal some more things. We can give Natasha the kleptomaniac trait. A house makeover. Oh yeah. We, we can extend the house now. I mean, we're gonna be making some good money from our garden, so we can do a house mo makeover next time, definitely. Get a vampire baby. We can do that, 100% we can do that. That would be great. Vampire baby or ghost baby? We'll try to do both of those. That's big brain. Alrighty. There are playlists down below. Other sim series and Animal Crossing videos. Thanks for uh, hanging out today, guys. Bye.